Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night, as you might expect during periods of peace. This gave KOTT News crews an opportunity to assist in multiple defeats of the Marquis of Terror. Chucking the old pumpkin heads back at them, some tosses more in the zone than others. Once acquired, adding the ichor into the witch's cauldron will dissolve the demon's connection to Eternum. With the tokens I acquired, the only difficult decision remaining was what to buy. Traveling to the deserts of Brimstone Sands last night, the bazaar seemed vibrant and full of life. The Ebenscale Tourism Council may need to step up their game if the Brimstone Association of Tourism and Hospitality continue to innovate like this. Visitors to the bathhouse should know that seating is technically limited, though only the largest scheduled events reach capacity. To arrange a private event for your next retreat from the corruption, please contact the Brimstone Association of Tourism and Hospitality. Turning to the weather and the sun returns in force today, twice as big as normal and barely moving along. But look out after nightfall as corruption invasion forces, sensing the fear growing across the island, strike at 30% of coastal regions. Only one submission for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it is cardboard. Tonight, the Marauders of DBA assail the Spice Lords of Order of Chaos for control of First Light and the flow of the Spice. DBA forces strike at First Light for the second time this week, perhaps perceiving an opportunity to overcome slight imperfections in their previous assault. But Order of Chaos stand ready to defend the Spice Production Facility in order to ensure a successful cover cropping for next spring's Spice Yield. We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.